Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about three things that I have changed that have been positive in my life. And I just wanted to share with you guys and I wanted to let you guys know what those three things were and how they have been positive to my life recently. So one thing that I have changed that I recently have only been a couple of months is that we all agreed um, here in my house, which are obviously my two daughters and my husband, that every little thing that we want to bring in, we would get rid of too, because we have already went through the process of decluttering the whole house. And I'm talking about everything from like the cabinets to like the little storage, everything has been totally decluttered. So we now made that rule that if somebody wants to bring one thing in, that's totally fine, but you have to get rid of two because we still have somewhat. So I help us declutter a little more and really help everybody really think about what we're trying to buy a lot of the times we end up buying things just by impulse uh just over dumb reasons i guess things that we don't even need that we just think we need but we really don't so if you're gonna bring an item in you want to make sure it's something you absolutely love and something that you really want to add to what you have because you have to remember you have to get rid of two things so a lot of the times i'm like is this better than what i already have and i actually did do that recently this last weekend um i really wanted three new tops so got my three new tops and then ended up getting rid of six which was totally worth it for me the second thing that i have um changed uh has been to minimize spending on eating out for lunch and coffees. I still once in a while get coffees. Like recently I got a gift card from my job for Starbucks. So I didn't have to buy coffee and I was obviously not making my own coffee and, you know, getting it there. Um, or sometimes like when I do my finances every two weeks, like by the way I get paid, if I have like spare money at the end, I'll just use that little spare money and, you know, eat something out or get myself a coffee whatever it is that I want I'm not like I am doing a lot better and I'm trying to live you know life a little more responsible and be more responsible with my money but of course we all have those times where we really want something and there's a lot of times where I really want something lately I've been really hooked on the Baskin Robbins uh what is, I think it's Frappuccino Blast. My coworker got me really hooked. So every time I have, <coughs> excuse me, so sorry. Every time I have a little bit of spare money, that's my thing. That's my go-to. But I try to stay away because it's, it's in my eyes, it's expensive to be purchasing it very frequent. Uh, the third thing that I wanted to let you guys know which has really, 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 really helped me out and just really has made a difference for me is to think what my time is worth what i want to do with my time what things do i want to say yes to where do i want to be where don't i want to be what events do i want to associate myself with what like it just basically everything when it comes to work when it comes to life when it comes to anything anything that's going to take up my time I'm going to think about it before I had a lot of issues with boundaries, telling people no. I was literally the type of person that if somebody invited me to do something in, say, two hours from here, I would literally say yes to going two hours. And then somebody invites me here where I live to do something here two hours later after that and I end up saying yes so I get myself caught up in just stupid situations where like I go somewhere really far and then drive all the way back just to um please people I guess I don't know I I, re I realized that um I have a little bit of an issue as a people pleaser so that's something else and we'll I'll talk about that in another video but basically what I'm trying to say is are things worth my time? Um, should I, you know, sometimes people ask me to do something. Is that worth my time? Uh, should I do that? And um, I, I've come to find that I have been doing so much more with my time, like making YouTube videos for you guys and um, just, you know, 
taking care of things that I've been wanting to take care of, like my house and, you know, decluttering my mind and trying to live a little more positive and trying to, um, to just better myself and try to figure out what it is that I want to do with my life and the route that I want to take. And all these things are literally possible because I literally have time. I use my time wisely now and I decide what things I'm going to do, what I'm not going to do, what I'm going to say yes to, what I'm not going to say yes to. And literally even as simple as being on the phone, as replying to a text message, um, you don't have to give your time to people all the time and exactly when they need it. You have to always, you know, put yourself first and make sure that you're not stopping what it is that you have to do just to please somebody else when you for yourself don't even care to listen or to be there. or You don't even want to be there. Uh, there's a lot of times where we say yes to events and, or things and we don't even want to be there or we'll pick up the phone and we don't want to talk to the person, but yet we're like listening. And um, those are the type of things that I've been have, trying to stay away from. But yeah, once again, those are the three things that um, I have done that have really made a difference in my life. And I just wanted to share them with you guys because they're simple things. And these simple things make such a difference. Like, um, it just, I feel like lately, the way that I've been kind of changing things around, it's kind of been like a, like a snowball effect. Like it just, um, you know, you change one little thing and then you go to the other and the other and the other, and it just kind of keeps coming and coming. And, and yeah, it just, it's, it's a good feeling, but to end this in a positive note, I just wanted to say thank you guys for, um, you know, giving me some love in my videos and my new subscribers and people that are actually commenting and, you know, taking the time to listen to my videos. I really appreciate it because like I was talking right now, time, are things literally worth your time? You know, is this video worth your time sitting down and, you know, listening to me? That's something that you need to decide. But once again, I want, I just want to say thank you so much and thank you for the love and the support. And I will see you guys in a couple of days with another video give me um any comments down below if there's anything you guys would like for me to talk about or any question you guys have thank you so much once again please like and subscribe to my videos thank you